Thank you. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, I'm Andrea Bosco from University of Nippur, PhD student. I'm about to talk about uh, a project that I carry on with the University of Nippur all the time. Um, the project started in 2010 and was presented to the MAI, the Italian Minister of Foreign Affairs, with the title of Digital Reconstruction with the Laser Scanner 3D and Virtual Restoration of the Sun Temple of Nusera in Abu Ghraib. Um, <coughs> just to orient us. Okay, this is the site and this is the most famous play, uh, area of uh, Giza. Um, the main mission goals are the accurate survey of the complex of the solar temple, and the second, the double check of uh, the information uh, provided by archaeologist uh, worker in uh, 19, and uh, uh, a 3D reconstruction of the area. Because um, uh, the main archaeological question about this uh, complex is. Um, how many tall uh, was the obliques of the temple, and uh, how many floor uh, uh, as uh, the the basement of this uh, construction, this building? So um, we want to uh, apply some structural analysis uh, to analyze the temple. Uh, the mission, as I said, started in 2010, but for the delicate political situation of uh, the Egypt. Uh, restart only in uh, 2014. The first mission in uh, 2010 um, um, produced 31 scans uh, concerning only a little part of the, of the temple, uh, the area of the altar and uh, of the north chapels and the portal. Uh, the, with the second start, uh, all acquired with the solar and glasses scan. And uh, the second survey with the uh, same scanner, 40, 47 scans, and that cover a uh, most larger area of the temple. And um, we need to create uh, a topographical grid. And then we had to acquire a lot of uh, target uh, with the uh, total station mm, that uh, we needed to align uh, in post processing the, the power class. So, um, briefly, this is the results, uh, uh, black and white point clouds, very detailed. And um, after uh, a meshing of uh, the central area of the temple, we uh, produced the um, exception of a uh, section and uh, plants. And this vectoralized data uh, were used to building a GIS system or some information as uh, the Material you know, or the function of some part of the building were um, applied, and also we need to um, do an overlap with the historical plants. With the third mission in 2014, um, okay, the aims were basically the same, but um, we need to complete the acquisition of the temple and uh, also to check uh, eventually damage uh, caused by uh, the cheerlessness, so, but also simply because uh, uh, the area was uh, unattended. And uh, for example, all the peaks of the topographical grid were lost. Um, then we, used, uh, we can use uh, a scanner of new generation, the laser scanner for Farofocus uh, 3D, that had the, the two principal uh, news advantages. The uh, GPS uh, integrated uh, that um, allowed to, um, to speeding the, the alignment process of the point clouds, and a digital integrated digital camera that uh, it allows the um, RGB data to, to the model. And then we apply also, uh, we use it also um, a photogrammetric method structure for motion um, for some areas, of some particular areas. And um, then finally, um, we try to use a, 
uh, and new methods to um, integrate uh, all the data acquired, uh, all the past data, uh, for uh, analysis, uh, um, for do archaeological analysis, but also architecture and uh, uh, structure, the BIM, the B model. Um, this is an overview of the new pipeline used and uh, the software um, that we use for. Uh, briefly, a photogrammetric, as I said, uh, was applied in four um, area. That was uh, the monumental gate, the area of uh, the basin, and the so-called slaughter and the uh, southwest um, southwest collapse. Um, that are um, area um, um, key area for archaeological questions. So um, we um, we want to add more information. Um, Detailed information about, and this is uh, an overview of the of the result. Okay, with the um, with the last scanner, we <coughs> acquired the fifty six scans, and we covered all the area of the of the temple. Um, this is uh, quickly a, a review uh, of the view of the lineup model obtained. Um, at this point, uh, we need to manage a lot of data, a lot of information, archaeological 3D data, historical archive data, geographical, topographical, uh, and, uh, and so on. So, um, as I said, uh, in the first two missions, we uh, obtained, okay, we decided to uh, build a GIS model to um, to Okay, contain the, all the information, mm, but uh, um, for the for answer at the main point of uh, archaeological question, we need to build a model and, and work on this model. Uh, so uh, this is not the best environment to do this. Uh, so we try to um, to collect all the information needed to manage. Um, uh, all this data in a in another environment, so this, the the BIM system, and uh, uh, we can uh, so we can uh, uh, call it uh, all the data and um, and use it the, for instance for a structural analysis. Um, so briefly, uh, a few a few words. Um, the BIM can, uh, as I said, collect uh, all the information needed to manage all the phases. Of the cycle of life um, of a building, uh, construction, maintenance, demolition. But uh, as a, a most part of a software and a model, uh, it wasn't created for uh, um, history and archaeology. <laughs> it's for modern uh, structure. So, um, but uh, the main advantages of this of this software is the possibility to manage. Um, a lot of kind of data, territorial documentation, uh, also also historical documentation, and uh, mm, to export uh, these uh, it, it is a, a, a national standard now the BIM and uh, the possibility to export uh, <laughs> uh, these information in a, uh, a standard uh, um, a standard um, format the EFC um, readable for all the so, of the software, or the um, software that manage BIM. So the HBIM, uh, historical building information model, is a, uh, essentially uh, an adjustment of uh, this process for uh, historical building. Um, but uh, this process needed uh, um, to collect uh, an accurate uh, uh, 3D survey. And uh, now I show you why. <laughs> Okay, in, uh, in our case study, uh, now we focused uh, um, on uh, a particular um, of the model, uh, the area of the South Chapel and the so-called Chamber of Seasons. And uh, so we imported the point cloud in a, in a software Revit. And immediately uh, we have available uh, plants and uh, section prospect uh, elevation of the model. Uh, this uh, this system uh, thinking in mm, two uh, principal subsystems that was um, 
the environmental system that contain um, uh, the, all the uh, coordinates, uh, topographical coordinates, orientation, weather information, and you can imagine the importance to know the sunshine uh, uh, movement uh, when you study a uh, solar temple, for example. And, uh, and the technological system. Uh, so uh, we have a, a technological classic, classes, as for example the closing, um, the technological units, so vertical, lower, horizontal closure, and the uh, technical elements, the singular elements, architectural structural elements. So, as I said, this kind of library that are included into the software are created for modern structure, for modern building, but uh, um, as you can see, it's, not too, it's, it's quite easy to uh, recognize these, uh, these um, elements also in a in building as this. So, uh, why we need uh, this uh, support of the of the of the uh, of uh, the detailed uh, survey? Mm -hmm. And why, uh, as I said, um, for uh, for the um, for the heritage system, for the historical building, um, maybe we need to uh, build uh, to construct. Uh, um, uh, case by case, uh, the object, the family, as uh, as talk, um, as a uh, name of the rabbit, uh, the object that we create, and then associate this object at, at an universal category. As for example, in this case, uh, the, this uh, basil uh, was associated to the category of forbishment, or for example, this uh, angular block was associated to the structural member. Um, but, uh, okay, every, any, any single object huh, of, this, uh, of this model had a personal, uh, um, had a personal uh, schedule that uh, contained a lot of uh, information about uh, the object, um, description, position, material, uh, um, type of technique and so on, and uh, any decode uh, identify uh, the category uh, who it is uh, associated. Uh, the rabbit uh, uh, thinking in uh, uh, the, the, the table database is rabbit where we call it uh, Abaci. And this Abaci contains a lot of information, some, some information automatically um, automatically created by the software, uh, for example, the calculation of the volume of, uh, of the object, but other information are linked by the user as an as a image, as in this case, or, but also a sketch, drawing, uh, all the plants, uh, and so on. And uh, here you can see um, an uh, example of visualization of the of the model in this uh, in this environment, and uh, okay then the the reconstruction. Um, in conclusion, and for future development, uh, the beam the beam uh, provide uh, to. Um, an integrated system capable to recognize uh, different type of uh, of analysis, uh, to reconcile a, a different type of analysis, archaeological, architectural, structural, and um, the process to transform uh, uh, the scans into a single object uh, with their with the data uh, and family and the types so that was also easily to export and reusable in other situations. And the database management through database table from uh, magic and parametrical data. And uh, also um, provide the tools to analyze the, for the object from a different scientific point of view. And uh, last but not least, uh, a single exchange format, which are um, a 3D image format and uh, is compatible uh, with uh, all the software that use uh, the BIM system, uh, and even is a uh, no an European directive. 
um, for the future for this um, project. We want to link uh, to the model uh, a model of standard ontology based system, CDOC CRM, in order to include also uh, a semantic point of view uh, aspect to the model. Thank you for your attention.